All right, just a quick reminder before we get started here, we're going to start with an opening statement from Head Coach Holtman, and then uh, we'll go into questions for the student athletes. Uh, if you have a question, please raise your hand and use the microphone and give your name and affiliation prior to asking your question. Uh, with that opening statement from Coach Holtman. <clears throat> yeah, obviously a painful loss. I hate it for, you know, I hate it for our players, uh, but uh, let's, let's give Villanova credit for how they played, particularly the start of both halves. I thought were you know, were really uh, critical stretches for us. So uh, give them credit. Congratulations to them for moving on. Obviously, uh, love this group and love the fight they showed here uh, in this game and obviously in the last week. So, um, yeah. Questions for the student athletes, please raise your hand. talked a lot this season about legacy and what you wanted to accomplish coming back this year at Ohio State. I know it's hard with it just being in over, but what is going through your head right now and, and what do you think you were able to do this year? I don't think reality has really like kicked in yet that I wouldn't be able to, um, these like this certain group of guys, uh, this is a lot of guys, last games, older guys, seniors, and. It's tough, man. I mean, I'm really hurting inside. I wish I could have done more to help get it done. But uh, this group of guys was really determined. Uh, we fought through a lot of adversity, a lot of injuries this year. And uh, I gave them all this year. I wish I could have done a little bit more, though. So. Uh, Steve Means, Cleveland.com. Malachi, kind of same question for you. It, obviously, this isn't ending the way you wanted it to, but just kind of evaluate you know, your freshman year, how you think things went for you personally and your development. I felt like it went good, um, you know, kind of shaky at the start of the season, but, you know, I kind of found my groove at the second half of the season. So, um, you know, it was just trying to help the team win. That's all I was trying to do. Uh, Griffin Strom for 11 Warriors, really either of you guys, um, does it does it sting a little bit more that you guys came so close in the end there, you know, cut it down to two points? And, and, and what did you kind of think went wrong after that point in the final five minutes? And, and like, you know, why couldn't you guys close it out from there, I guess, and, and complete the comeback? EJ, you want to start? Uh, credit to Villanova. They're a really good team. Uh, got a lot of older guys. They were composed. And I uh, got, got to take care of the ball a little bit more. And uh, credit to them. They play really hard. So uh, I thought we went out there and played hard. But we just got to take care of the ball a little bit more. Anything to add, Malachi? Uh, yeah, like EJ said, just take care of the ball more. Um, and we, we should have came out with more bite, um, as Coach would say. You know, um, First 20, and, um, first half, and the second half, you know, we got to come out, you know, more aggressive than they did. So, Spencer Holbrook with Letterman Road. EJ, you had three fouls in there early in the second half. You had to sit for quite a while. Uh, when you re entered the game, uh, you know, how important was it to, to just get going immediately and, and get back on track so you could just start try to help Malachi complete that comeback? Uh, my teammates were picking me up. They were like, uh, they needed me, and I went out there and tried to play my hardest. I started off the half, and I felt like I let them down a little bit on the defensive side of the ball. But uh, just sitting over there reflecting on the bench, I, I felt like I came back in and did better than what I did. Uh, yeah, I was trying to do my best to uh, help this guy out right here. He was having a really good game, and um, some shots weren't falling for me tonight. So, Last question for the student athletes right here. Uh, Bill Landis from The Athletic. Uh, EJ, I think we've all kind of operated this year under the assumption that this was your final season at Ohio State. Um, does, does this ending uh, give you anything else to think about as you kind of make that decision moving forward? Uh, right now, I'm just reflecting on and enjoying the moments I have with these guys, man. Uh, I'm not even thinking about that. I really haven't thought about that process yet. But uh, this one stings, so I'm not going to say uh, – I have thought about it because I really haven't. Uh, this moment right here, uh, I wasn't. I didn't want it to happen ever. So, yeah. Thank you, gentlemen. Appreciate it. All right. Questions for head head coach Holtman. Please raise your hand. Over here. Hey, coach. Shaw Kanye with Sportcale Media. Um, I know everybody's going to be asking about Kyle Young, obviously. Um, is incredible effort to come back and play this postseason is a testimony of f faith and uh, resilience. So if you can just talk about, obviously you can't give uh, a lot more into what happened, but just talk about his play 
when he was on the floor. Yeah, I mean, he makes a difference for us for sure. I just, you know, I love Kyle. You know, love Kyle. He represents everything we want. He competes <coughs> at at the highest level, and um, yeah, we we obviously uh, he's a special special kid and special player. So, um, you know, he's being evaluated now, and and uh, you know, I think more than anything, he's disappointed about about the loss. Chris, obviously, what Malachi and EJ were able to do today was pretty phenomenal, but you didn't necessarily get a lot of offense out of anybody else. While Villanova, they had four guys in double figures. I mean, when you're missing some guys like Justin, and, uh, Justice and Seth, and how valuable it is it to have more, maybe depth, more than maybe just necessarily two guys who might be NBA pros? How much more valuable is that depth in moments like this? Yeah, no, I think we, we've been searching for that, you know, third or fourth guy. It, it's really been Kyle a lot. Um, it, it's been other guys at times, but... Uh, uh, it's been Kyle when we've been at full strength. Sometimes Zed. I thought Zed gave us a good lift on the glass. He missed a couple around the basket, but gave us a great lift on the on the glass. So uh, we've been kind of searching for that. Um, and uh, when we've struggled, we, we've uh, we've missed that third, fourth, and, and sometimes fifth option. Chris, you guys are three and one, I think, in first round at Ohio State. Um, what do you guys need to do to get? Get that next step. Get over the hump. I keep, gotta keep getting here. Gotta keep uh, keep growing. Um, you know, listen. I, uh, um, you know, when we got here a few years ago with with a different program, you just you keep getting here. You get here enough. You get here consistently, um, and um, you know it'll happen. Chris, every and Adam Jardy, Columbus Dispatch. Every end of the season brings different emotions, and different teams bring out different things. I'm sure, but. When you look at, at this this year, and I know it's it's fresh, but do you feel you got everything you could out of this team? Do you th do you feel the ceiling was higher? Uh, I mean, I think I think the injuries played a major role. Um, you know, we didn't have the team we anticipated having, but um, I was I was really proud of our of our last you know kind of final this week really. Um, I just I didn't like how we started either half. Um, to be honest with you, I thought those 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 two starts really. We just were not as um, physical or as detailed as we needed to be. But uh, in terms of the season in review, you know, I'd, I'd have to kind of think about that and put it in perspective. Steve Howagen, 24-7 Sports. Uh, it was a five-point game, and you had four trips to try and get it down to two or three. And uh, I think uh, EJ missed a shot and had a turnover, and Brandon missed a three. And then they called an illegal screen and appeared on Zed Key. And then Zed tried to double and yeah. wasn't home for the three-point shot. Just yeah. that entire sequence from your standpoint on offense, did you consider a timeout at any point in there, maybe after a couple of those fruitless possessions, to, to get the look you did wanted? Did we miss a free throw in that stretch, too? Yeah, that was it. Yeah, she yeah. missed a free throw. Yeah, was Sorry. it a two-, two or a five-point game at that point? It was a five-point game through that entire stretch. Okay. Neither team scored. Yeah, no, I... <coughs> I, w I would have liked to have saved my timeouts. Um, I think I had two left at that point, Steve, if I'm, if I'm accurate. I would have liked to save those for the last uh, two or three minutes um, because I thought it was going to be a one or a two possession game. So um, that was that was my thinking there. And um, I thought we had, you know, we just, we needed to be better in that stretch. That stretch was critical. Chris Rob Aller, Columbus Dispatch. Jay Wright was in here talking about how he also struggled. They also struggled to get out of the second round. He talked about he didn't change anything. He just trusted the process. Yeah. Is that what you have to do, and is it hard to do that? Do you start to th maybe think we've got to change things up here? How do you handle that? No, no. I mean, not no. no I, I, I appreciate the question, but no. I mean, we've – listen, it's hard to win in this tournament. You know, we've had four – opportunities you know we haven't had I've been here five years but we haven't I haven't had five opportunities we've had four opportunities and uh, we performed pretty well in this tournament in three of them um, we just haven't you know haven't haven't been able to push through to that second round it's you know I'm, I'm believe in what we're doing I'm more than confident it's going to happen it's hard to win in this tournament um, I think if you go back and you look at um, the number of years I've been a head coach and number of NCAA tournament wins it's it's pretty good so we're um, you know we feel good about what we're doing we've obviously got to do some roster construction here given some of, of what we're losing but we'll deal with that when we get back last question for coach right here 
Hey, Chris, Colin Gay, Rivals. Uh, you had mentioned yesterday about kind of the comparison between kind of how Jay built up his program at Villanova and how you're building your program. I'm a, and I'm curious, is is what Villanova can do with their versatility and their depth and things like that, is that kind of like what you see as kind of the future of Ohio State? Do you see kind of the potential of kind of building something similar? Is that kind of what you want your team to look like in an ideal scenario? Um, you know, I think there are some things that I would I would take from it. But, um, um, you know, as, as I mentioned earlier, but I think, you, you, you know, there's some things that I take from a lot of programs that I really respect, and, and certainly Villanova's one of them. Um, in terms of how they play and they build their roster and, and uh, in terms of their, you know, he plays about seven or eight guys, and, and that's kind of consistently how he's done it. So um, I wouldn't necessarily get into to those specifics and be nailed down on that, but uh, certainly there's some things that um, – uh, I have taken and will take it. Thanks, Coach. Appreciate it.